Okay, here's what comes with it. Let's put it somewhere. Instructions. Just one page. Well, forward and backward. Pretty simple actually. It could be done in a few minutes. That's one of the things I want to see how fast I could build this. Uh, a lot of screws and um, standoffs. All the hardware comes with it. So basically the only thing you have to uh, add is something to drive the, the motor. It comes with even with, with a battery. Um, a battery compartment with a jack even it comes with two pieces of plastic which is the top and the bottom two pieces with tons and tons of hole unfortunately none of them actually matches perfectly with the Arduino I kind of uh, only have to I was only able to find uh, three of the screws to match so uh, actually only two yeah, this one actually is floating, but it, it's pretty sturdy. So it comes with the um, actual top and bottom body, a lot of hardware, two wheels with a semi soft. This is only semi soft, it's hollow inside, but it's not too rubbery. I've seen better uh, tires than this, but it's cheap and then this is probably the weakest uh, point the weakest part these motors are very very weak I was able to hold the little uh, axle back here and by just holding that the, the actual motor cannot spin uh, when it's powered uh, using uh, four AA batteries so that's the weak part but like I said by putting another battery so I actually now have let's see if you could see this maybe pretty dark but this is the battery compartment that comes with it there's four batteries there and I added two more batteries here and that seems to make it work well it comes with this caster which I did not like originally but I think it's fine um, I was blaming it for not being able to drive straight but I think in the end the culprit actually is the motor because they are not symmetrical and it comes with a screwdriver even which is cheap so I'm going to use my other screwdriver so let's get started see how fast I can do this okay it's been about 15 minutes took me a little longer than I expected I had trouble with the uh, small screws and uh, the nut down here it's really low and it's really hard to reach even with my so small fingers so if you have big bulky hands you might have trouble with that but uh, yeah it all went pretty nicely everything fits pretty nicely um, this was very easy to put in together and so all that's left so basically this is now ready to go um, could move around and the only thing left is uh, a couple more standoffs here so to, it will go up there and go down up here batteries go up here and then we put the Arduino on top so I think uh, well I'll, I'll, I'll t do another uh, stopwatch uh, when I get it all put together without the Arduino well guys it took about half an hour uh, taking my own sweet time you guys could probably do it much much faster if, you know 20 minutes 15 minutes if you really want to hurry but you know, part of the thing is to enjoy it so I really enjoyed it and it took me about 30 40 minutes or so uh, that's including putting all these batteries uh, I have to uh, do a little extra wiring here for the extra battery um, but basically it's ready to have an Arduino up there and whatever sensors and stuff that we want to put on so uh, this time I installed this uh, what do you call this encoders it comes with a disc but it doesn't really come with a sensor so I'm not sure I might have to go get some sensor to actually count the pulses as it spins here there's one for each each wheel um, so I guess I'll see you guys uh, when I get both of these 
robots running. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.